Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 10.30 in Honolulu, 3.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, first day of March 2016, and this is the daily report for gold and silver. We do have gold under a little bit of pressure, in essence unchanged to down a couple dollars on the day, 12.35 and changes our current print putting it off about two to three dollars on the day. The high today has been 1248.57 with a low of 1227.40. We'll talk about the low first part of the show because we did send out a special trade alert to raise our stops up. I do want to go through the rationale behind that move as well as what I'm looking for in the precious metals markets over the next couple of days, all on today's daily report. So traders, we do have gold trading up now, up about a dollar to two dollars at 12.36. Of course, this daily chart is not reflecting it. As you can see, it is sitting at 12.30. But nonetheless, I do want to spend a moment to explain my rationale behind moving our stops up today. Of course, we had them sitting just roughly right under a 12.10 which was a couple of lows as well as a fib retracement number on another one of my charts. However, what we have noticed over the last couple of days has absolutely been consolidation and congestion within the market. Let's kind of spread this out a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. On the positive side, when we look at it, you can see that we are getting these series of higher lows right in here. And so these higher lows are really giving us almost a very, very steep slope. At the same time, you can see these series of highs. So we are getting a series of lower highs. So we are absolutely consolidating within the market. You can see that the range itself, which was expanding at the beginning, is now contracting. Our stops right now are sitting just under call it uh, 1226 in that area and it puts it under the intraday low of today's candle so that was really the thought process behind uh, the move itself in other words if we're going to see this market continue to move up we want to see it continue to move up in such a way let me go ahead and change this to 1440 so we get a correct update and here we go uh, 1236 but as i said what we want to be able to do is should this market continue to track higher to be able to trail our stops up now as i said on the positive side we absolutely see these series of lower highs we absolutely see these series of higher lows and so now it's a matter of which way this market's going to break and when we look at our basic wave count that we have been working with and that is of course after the breakout and conclusion of our a wave it's really something like as a rough a rough draw we've got wave one right here our wave two was a perfect 61 percent retracement we then had this wave three and this is very much a sub count it's not an intermediate count by any stretch of the imagination but this is a sub count so we get our th our third wave right up here and then my assumption was we had completed our fourth wave however i am under a different belief at this point because my sense is that this entire triangle here is a wave four here. This is our wave two here, wave one and wave three up here. So that is kind of the way that I am looking at it. Should that be correct, it's gonna be followed by a break and the break will be to the upside. And so if we are correct, we could get another move. Now, how will we know that? Well, the first thing that we're gonna to have to do obviously is to break above 1244 we're sitting at 1236 but we have tried on numerous occasions throughout this in the last week to break above that and have not been able to effectively see that however at the same time we've had this consolidation that we've been speaking about all throughout the show with this market really compressing in range and these highs becoming lower highs and these lows becoming higher lows and so therefore we should conclude at the apex and at the apex we should see a break to the upside in either case or regardless i should say of what happens the the main thing you want to to realize at this point is that we've got profits in this trade even if we get stopped out at this point this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.